Now, you and E-Rock were saying something's going on with our interns. Oh, yeah. Dude. I, I heard you. I was listening yesterday, uh -huh. as I usually do. Thanks. And uh, I'm in here every day. You are? Yeah. I didn't know. I don't listen on Wednesdays, usually. <laughs> I know they switch things up and stuff. I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah. I was hearing you guys talk to your intern yesterday. Uh-huh. And I don't know. I only interacted him with the one time when I was in here when he quit radio. Right, he had I, that bad day. Yeah, and then, but he seems like he's come back, and he's come back strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, like last week, he was exiting the kitchen, and then I went, I was going in, and there's this lady in there who works here, and she goes, and she was freaked out. She was like, you know, I don't know. She, she goes, who was that? And I go, I was one of the interns, I think, for Ron and Fez, and she goes, he was freaking out in here. I was like, what do you mean? There was, she was the only one in there with him. Mm-hmm. And she goes, I don't know. He started yelling at the fridge. I was like, what? She said he opened up the fridge and started yelling into it about his sandwich being stolen. She goes, there was nobody in here except me. I didn't know if he was accusing me. I didn't know what was going on. So I said, is everything okay? And he said, yes, everything's fine. And then he started yelling at the drinks. And then he stormed out. All right, send in Cappy Popcorn... Daily Joe, whatever his name is, Morning Joe. PC, too. PC. <laughs> PC's there. He gets a different name every day. <laughs> this is disturbing to hear, though. Uh, yeah, she was, she was, you know, she's just trying to get her work on on a day-to-day -day basis. Sure, man. You know. Just trying to get her work on. Yeah. All right, by the way, um, he looks a little bit like Ghostbusters, too, I'm nervous. Which the one? The guy, Rick Moranis. Oh, totally. He's got, we want to find the right glasses for him to Rick Moranis him up a it's little bit. Haircut. Yeah, yeah the is. haircut did it for you. Yeah. Are you familiar with this story where people are saying that you are going crazy and you freaked out in front of the refrigerator? No, I am not. You did not go into the kitchen when there was just a woman in there and start yelling in the refrigerator? No, not yelling. What were you doing? Um... If this is the story that I th I I had a beverage in there uh -huh. and I went to retrieve said beverage, mm -hmm. which uh, is pretty expensive in the city, it was like two fifty. Okay, and it wasn't there. So you start yelling at a woman, or are you I just know, yelling at the fridge? I don't think I was. I really don't think I I raised my voice at all. I, I you, think it was more of a shit. What the fuck is going? No, yeah, like that's like that. <laughs> weird for people, though. Now, when you went to retrieve said beverage, yes. what kind of beverage was said beverage? It's uh, it's called a Neuro Bliss. It's a uh, s carbonated beverage. It's it's pretty good. It's supposed to have like promote relaxation or whatever. But yeah, it, it just tastes good. Yeah, it sounds like that's what you drink. Now, uh, and somebody had taken it from you. Yes. Did you think it was said lady? No, no. She was blonde. Do you remember who the woman was that you scared? Honestly, I did not know anyone, anyone else was in the room. Yeah, you gotta start I didn't becoming know aware of that. Watching, I didn't think this was uh, breaking news. Well, it's apparently it frightened her. Yeah, oh and yeah, you big time. She was like, "What the fuck happened in here?" Like <laughs> she thought that you were yelling at her for stealing something. And she didn't know what was happening because she. T I didn't obviously. I didn't see oh, it. Oh, okay. But she told me that you were yelling into the fridge. No, like I as if as if whoever had taken your item was still inside the fridge. You a little bit of an fridge. anger thing, right? You sometimes snap. Now, that, look, maybe it's a Philly thing, but from where I come from, you don't take someone's relaxation beverage. <laughs> that's old no. school, though. Yeah. Now, when that happened, did you ever get to the bottom? Who took it? No, no, I, I pretty much just stumbled down the hallway and found myself here. I saw some bank <laughs> tellers in here. I don't now, know when did this could've... all happen? When did you lose your beverage? Um, I, I'm, I'm not too sure, I guess. <laughs> Time is confusing for you? No, I, get, I guess whenever... Because she thought it was a sandwich. Do you sometimes bring sandwiches in? Do I know? Mm. But uh, it, it was in there since... Um, you uh, left it for days? N no, yesterday morning. I, I I put them in like. This went down I, last week. I, yeah, I only have them like every other, 
every other couple days, you know, so. So you went back to trusting the refrigerator and the and the general public that's in and out of here, huh? No, no. No. I, uh, you know. When you no. were yelling in the when, I, when we hit those dead air spots, I just <laughs> wonder what's going on inside. <laughs> Nothing. Not just, <laughs> it, it just everything shuts down for a while. Yeah. All right, Iraq. You had a, a follow-up story with him, or um, actually, this story was before the one uh, Sam was talking about. We're doing the O and A show. It's just a little bit after nine a.m., and I just see this guy staring into the studio, mm-hmm. just like dead on into the glass. And I'm looking. I'm like, what is this guy doing? And then he walks away, and all of a sudden comes into the studio, uh, the producer studio. And he and Sal and I just turn around and we're looking at him. He's standing by the door and he goes, "I'm here." And we're like, "Who are you?" That's some Grim Reaper shit. <laughs> yeah. And your name, Joe. Joe, right? All right. So he goes, "I'm Joe." And Sal just starts laughing. And I go, "Joe, who? We're on the air. What are you, What are you talking about?" He's like, "I'm here for my internship." And I didn't recognize him on, on like interviews or anything. I said, "No, you're not. You're not with this show." Well, no, I'm a Ron and Fez intern. I said, they're not on until 11 o'clock. you got another two hours. And then he, he, was, he was asking where their office was and who, who we had to contact. So he leaves. I send a message to, uh, to, Pe- to Pepper and to Pips. I'm like, your intern just kind of walked in on the show saying that he was here. And, and they asked, well, where is he now? I said, I just told him how to get to your office. And they were flipping out. I was like, he was just up here like the other day in the office. He like, knew oh, exactly yeah, it was where we were. after the first day, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the first day? That this didn't happen on the first day? No. So you're still asking days after how to get there and what time you're supposed to be here and well, what not I to be staring at ONA? What, what I think happened was um, I think maybe Bonnie, the head of interns, maybe told me to head down and I thought head down to the studio is what she meant and uh, apparently <laughs> that's not what she meant. Okay, that's fine. But when we found out you were a Ron and Fez intern, and then you asked where the office was, we told you to find out later from from Pepper that you were already up at the office. You knew where they were, and you just were standing there like you you were lost. It's a strange question you're the, saying. Yeah, very strange. Yeah. The maybe that beverage first, of yours gets you a little too chill, too relaxed. <laughs> I I think um the first uh, nice voice crack um the first couple days I. Didn't really know my way around, mm-hmm. so I you're getting it now, made, though. You're picking yeah, up, yeah, yeah, it's starting <laughs> um, to happen. I, I think it, I got it down pat now. Um, let's go over here to uh, Sal. Sal, you're on the running fed show. Hey, Ron, yeah. this guy drank his own soda, he doesn't remember anything. I'm telling you, he drank his own soda, went back looking for it, and said, Listen, see you. Do you think there's a possibility that you could have drank or one of your Personalities may have drank the soda, and then the other one doesn't know about it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's so many personalities in there. But sometimes you you get into these anger things. That's why we're we're trying to find the chill place. I but, re- I really didn't like cause a scene. I mean, she was scared. <laughs> I mean, the lady was like, "What the fuck was that?" It was <laughs> like, Jesus. she do, just works here. Do you even here. know her well? I know her like in passing. She's like the typical like. Hey, how are you? Right. We're at work and smiling. But she's not like an on-air personality, no. right? Just like a normal person. She sits at a desk. Right. And okay. like does computer stuff. This is the thing I got to teach you in radio. You can't scare the straights. Like with guys like us, all the extreme personality stuff is okay. But anyone in an office, we're like freaks to them. I didn't know I was being watched. We, we've seen... No, she, she was in bed. She was like in the kitchen. And she was microwaving. It was a public space. <laughs> right. It's a small kitchen, and then you were yelling at the fridge about stealing something. Now, maybe because Gozer was in there. Well, here's <laughs> the thing. You were supposed to mentor him, Fez. So what has happened? Fez is not mentoring you? No, I've been mentoring well, him, but all of this has happened before I started officially. Well, yesterday him he under tried to wing. put a bit on the air, and you were screaming, it's not time yet. Well, yeah, because he had just walked in with a piece of paper that was cut and paste off a website, and I hadn't even looked at it. <laughs> Did your bit get done yet? Uh, it's finished, but it has not been... Uh, it hasn't been produced? No. What is it supposed to be? Uh, ten words, 
in Urban Dictionary that I think should be added or recognized by Webster's. What are we waiting for? Go ahead and do it. Um, I don't have the uh, paper with me. I got it. I so, what are you doing right, helping? I have it in the other room, actually. Oh, you don't know it off the top of your head, though? I mean, you worked on uh, this for a day? No, because some of them are actually pretty lengthy. The lengthy length, words? Uh, no, lengthy explanations. and. All right, go get it for him. Um, here's uh, Bill. Bill, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey, it's a quick question for Joe. I think he just walked out of the room, but uh, I just he mentioned that he has a lot of personalities inside him, and I wanted to know if any of them were engaging. Say that's just don't <laughs> that's listen not cool. to that. Don't listen to that, Joe. You're gonna get that from the listeners. Yeah, I mean, that one didn't hurt. Good. Some of them hurt. Once in a while, you get one that'll. Which one hurt? Swim by. Um, none of the actually none of them hurt yet. Did it hurt okay. that the lady got scared when you were yelling at the fridge? I wasn't yelling. That's not. I don't. I don't think I could. Yell. Unless the lady has a personal vendetta <laughs> against you. She might. You think so? She might have been the one that stole it and is doing this whole rouse. Just oh! Wow! Shit. I didn't even All think right. of that. Yeah. Perfect mind. Because yeah. she was in the kitchen. Yeah, it is. Who, who else was there? And obviously she was there before you got there because you didn't notice her. Mm. Exactly. Like, and then somehow she got to Sam. Right. And got him into this. And goes, man, this kid is... Crazy. So if you Great. start hurling accusations, she's in the clear, even though she's guilty. Makes sense. It's the perfect crime. And then also you For had that other thing drink. where you were hooking up with a cute girl, and then people kind of blocked you from being able to do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they asked a bunch of questions. They made you look crazy in front of her? Um, I don't know if crazy <laughs> is exactly the word. Mm. I don't think she thinks I'm crazy. I just think that she thinks I may have had a hand in it. Like, oh, he's using me to try to get on the radio. Like, is, uh, I think that's the vibe. That like, is she working today? Um, I have not seen her today. I don't mm. know her. I don't know uh, what days she works. Because you asked her out to a restaurant, right? Um, no, I actually asked her if she wanted to get drinks on her birthday. Or nice. after when she was. And then you also asked her if she wanted to marry you. Uh, probably you, after. And Mac, 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 I asked her to, I, I asked oh, her no. to, uh, oh, no. I asked her to marry me. Oh no! This is. You did one, ask her to marry you. I was one floor of the cuckoo's no, nest. No. I would have. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But. And she'd probably do it. All right. This is uh, Mac, just your wide. paper. Fold it many times. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so read off this bit. And how were you going to do the bit? Just you were going to produce it, or what were you going to do? I was I was thinking about just coming on air mm -hmm. and being like... Hey, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I uh, got this thing I was working on. No. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, good, though. <laughs> um, so you do it your way. You do it, like, in your perfect world way. All right, that, How'd you I like think that would be a little weird, so I'll do it, like, a notch below that. Okay, do it a notch below. Okay. Alright, these are uh, about ten words that I believe should be added to or recognized nationally by the Webster's English Dictionary. Mm. The first one, kind of relevant, you were talking about using a neti pot the other day. This is a Burmese neti pot. The act of urinating in someone's nasal passage. Pretty disgusting. Okay. The next one doesn't get any better. A Kenyan switchblade. Two black men participating in the 69 position. Number three, please advise, which is corporate jargon for what the fuck. Example, dear Jim, I have not, I have not yet received the case files I asked you to send. Please advise. All right, hold on. I'm having trouble. You saying that people actually say these things? Yes, people use these words. Did you run these past Fez? Uh, run it past? Yeah, I know that sounded term. crazy. Yeah. I, uh, what did you do? Check in. I, I, uh, did you I give it to him to, to read? Yes, yes. And he gave you the, hey, this is good stuff? Uh, ready for air? I guess, I guess if he gave it back to us. 
I mean, what, no, what I never said that. And well, how he, long were we taking with this, Fez? I mean, well, this he has gave been... it to me yesterday after the show as he was leaving, so I hadn't had a chance to talk to him about it yet. I don't know what we were waiting for because I asked him about it yesterday. I was supposed to go on today, right? Uh, I was not aware when it was supposed to go on. Um, here is Frank. Frank, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, Ron, is this guy related to Dr. Steve by any chance? He does seem to have a little bit of Dr. Steve and a little bit of Fez Watley. There's some Fezness there. It's that bass. <laughs> A, a, so, a soothing bass. Who's Dr. Steve? That's just a name we just made up now. Go ahead. What else you got? Number four, Mormon wine. The very well-known Martellini sparkling cider, which Mormons repeatedly, re reportedly drink at gatherings in lieu of wine. Five, grill. One's personal business or one's teeth, face, or smile. Six, do the math. All right, now I'm going to throw it over here. Do you understand the bit at all? Um, no, but I do recognize grill. That's the first word I recognize. Is this like use. a Letterman top ten list? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Mm. Aren't they funny, though? Yeah, yeah. I thought, I mean, this sounded funny in my head. No, yeah. but, well, you didn't have the chance to shape it. And I guess the way that we were going, like a month was going to take place before they got done. Because I always thought bits, you got to write them quick, get them on quick, yeah. or else they become stale, even if they're funny. You know this, Sam, because Wednesdays you kill, but then Thursdays yeah. it's like back to, we Roland, come it. in here and find out if Travis was the one who took the cookie. We talked about that. The cookie show is, that's my show. Yeah. I like doing that. <laughs> the, the other one. Why? It's fun, you know, and it brings people in and takes everybody behind the scenes a little bit and everybody feels at home. It's very voyeuristic. Oh. Um, here's, uh, Craig, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, a million bucks, Ronnie V. Thanks, man. Hey, a couple things. First off, I didn't think it was possible you could get an intern dumber than fucking Dana, but he's sitting in your studio right now. And the other thing is, after Sammy's great show today, you are a hero for letting him come on your show and just giving him all the love. Mm. Great show today, Sam. It wasn't today. That I was a good show today, though, dude. I didn't have a show today. Everybody's mistaken. I mean, do Ron me a has, favor. Don't yeah. fall off tomorrow. I, you know what I mean? Try to put. <laughs> you still haven't put two good shows together in a row. Tomorrow won't be advice. That is today's show, and I don't host it. Ron has misled some of you into thinking that today's show was hosted by me. It was in fact Jim Norton. I had nothing to do with it. Odd. Um, Scott, you're on the Run Fed show. Hey, uh, Sam, first of all, great show today. But, oh, um, God hey damn guys, it. Uh, I don't want to warn you because I care about you. I care about the show. If you care anybody, if you care about anyone there, get rid of this guy. He's going to shoot the fuck up out of that place. You wouldn't do that, would you, Joe? No, I, re I really don't see myself as a violent or yelling person. We mm -hmm. have caught him a couple times talking to himself in the hallway. Mm -hmm. What? When Sam's show was on and we're doing yeah. the transition between the shows to you guys, he'd be outside setting up some of the uh, signs or whatever, and we could hear him as we're going back and forth, just grumbling, like yelling almost at himself, but quietly. Maybe he's laughing at some of the, my jokes. No, there's there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's that a lot of... No, no, no. There's no. a lot of intensity. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty... Oh, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> he likes working here. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got to get a new mentor for him. I don't think you're getting somebody who's actually mentoring you. When you handed the joke yesterday, these jokes should have went over immediately, and then you should have been working on them last night and bringing that back in today. This thing, Hicks, and yeah. I know you're busy. No, <laughs> I, I I have to reapply myself to mentoring him. If if it so. seems like he's not getting the love. That he needs, and we thought because he and Fez had such close, you know, personalities that maybe they would work out, but it's almost like they're dragging each other down. Melding into one. I know who needs to mentor you is Matty Ice, the other uh, Cracker Jack um, intern that seems to be taking the air by storm. I mean, do you ever hear his bits on the air? They're just, they're just moving. Really? Yeah. He's the sports guy, right? Yeah, sports he's sports really expert. Good. Yeah. I don't even like sports, and I was entertained by it. Well, we didn't let him finish his bit, so we don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Go back into it. For the record, uh, the other intern's the one that sets him up outside. 
So, but it's, oh, it's, that, looks, that guy looks logic. like that guy looks like you. Which guy? The guy that he saw and thought was you. Matty Heiss? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make some sense out of this. Okay. All right. The next one is uh, do the math slang for asking someone for their number. Example: Ho, you be fine. Do the math for me. All right. That sounded a little racist. I also think you really need to sell these. Pop them. You're just, you're just barely okay. putting your big toe in it. You okay. just really want to have some salesmanship on the air. I thought it, I thought it was like a laid back vibe. But I'll, I can definitely pick it up. Number seven, we got Vista. The five main problems of Windows operating system combined in a fancy little acronym: viruses, infections, spyware, trojans, and adware. The next one's a little... All right, let's just say this. I'm not sure if they're saying this on the street. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody Can ask a lady to do the, the math. Or the, do the math. The Burmese the pot California where you term. piss in oh. your own face. <laughs> or is it pissing in your own... I think somebody it, else's nasal pad. someone oh. else's nasal pad. Oh. In Burma. Oh. Right. Um, and yeah, I, didn't, I haven't heard any Vista slang. Jay, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Uh, Ronnie, are you okay? Because I don't think... Your producers or anything are kind of protecting you from the crazy intern that's in there. You want me to call Club Sonar Kenny or something? I may need to. I may need to do that, particularly when I'm going down to the bathroom, in case he's <laughs> waiting for me there. <laughs> you know, it was really weird. There is a judge who got in trouble in Jersey for the same thing as Club Soda Kenny for going out and doing stand up on the weekend. Jesus. Oh, so, really? Yeah. It's exciting news. It looks like O&A are going to be getting a judge on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll work great in your after shows. Yeah. Finally. I find for Roland. <laughs> uh, we got to do something with you because there is something in you. You're not getting the mentorship that you should have had. That should have been taken care of yesterday. Gag writing has to be done immediately. It's got to be done while you're fresh. But we need somebody who cares about him. You haven't, oh, Chris. You're I... tired and burnt out and thinking about vacation. <laughs> Fez doesn't care. Wait a minute. Could Pips be the guy for you? Do you think he cares either? Oh. I don't know. I want somebody who, who sees in you the thing that I saw the first day I met you. I want somebody to be able to sit there and help you polish this. What about the lady from the kitchen? She'll call the cops. Yeah. I'm just worried that if I let uh, Fez keep on mentoring you, you're going to end up in Niagara Falls like his cat. There'll just be another <laughs> thing <laughs> that a, he says, yes, this is a I'll one. take responsibility for, and yet let me push it away, i.e. the stick. Let me just say that although it was a short time under Fez's mentorship, it was an honor, and it's classy. And, Hold on, uh, I'm listening to the Vulcan. <laughs> Go ahead. And um, I do find his style of radio very not progressive, but regressive. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, no. uh, you guys share the same amount of pauses, which is amazing. I've never heard anyone else in radio hit the pause button like that. Well, I thought you were going to say something. Why so. would I? <laughs> uh, I'm listening to this. It's just one sentence. That uh, Normally, I answer back after you've finished your sentence. But you'll go like this. The thing about Fez <laughs> is... So you're thinking that he could have been your guy. Definitely. My problem is you came in with this bit today. This is beneath you. You're a funny guy. And this bit isn't polished. It's not at the joke thing. There's no production around it. You haven't radioed, radioed it up at all. You need to come in here. Boom, 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 boom. You know, there's math to this. And uh, you were just reading it. Basically, I feel like that kid in high school that doesn't... Look, I'm handing it in. I at least should be a passing grade. You know? This is your opportunity to do radio. Yeah, I don't want to come off like that. You're in a like... national show here. Mm -hmm. This is your chance to be heard. Interns don't get this. No. Next level shit. 
Yeah, you got to take it next level. NLS. All right. What are we going to do with you? Who do you want to be your mentor? Ah. You've got to make your decision right I now. I have to pick? Yeah, you got three seconds. Like you picked yesterday's lunch. I guess I got to go with Pepper. I <laughs> guess you got to okay. go with me. All right, <laughs> All let's right. go. Pepper? I mean, yeah. Uh, well, are you in, when are you went back in? Friday? Tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. Pepper? Yeah. I want him to do a sizzling bit. And this bit right here? Here, give me a, what you have right now. Oh, no. Don't do it. Yeah. This is going to... It's best thing. Uh, <laughs> best thing to put in the finish. trash. You, didn't even, you don't even know what Mungin is yet. Uh, dude, the fact that you're getting back on the air again is because I trust Pepper. I never saw anyone come in that did not have the sizzle that they were ready to take it to the next level. All right. The sizzle took all the sizzle. I know you like to ball bust and act like it doesn't matter, but you're getting a break here. You're getting a shot. Tomorrow you got to come in here and blow us away. That stuff is I don't care stuff. Let me just throw it out. Did that tomorrow? You got to pop it. You got to right. look at the way Matty Ice comes in here like a beast. You got to be able to bring that up. Do you see that in Pepper? Listen, Do you see the future in this kid? One thing, we're going to fucking get that confidence up, and then there, that's where it's going to fucking come and bring the thunder. I want some production values. Yeah. I want some energy out of him. There's going to be production. I want you to match that sense of humor that we know that you have. And this other hall stuff, let's work on being like normal outside. I can't the studio. promise no. that, that's, but that's I'll try. Do you really answer. have a pro uh, problem just being like a regular guy? Um, I, di I didn't think so, but it, I will admit that in the kitchen, I did say something. I did not think it was loud. I, actually, it wasn't even in this voice. It was like, it was like whispering to myself. It's even scarier though. Like, I'll kill everybody. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, you don't want to be the whisper I guy. I might have said something like that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> do what I do. Stay away from the straight people. All right, stay with show people. It's hard to distinguish which are which. Well, Us. whoever, whoever Us. has a microphone in front of them, they'll get it. Then the regular people who work in cubicles and desks, they're not like us. All right? We want to bring you into the us camp, the performers camp. I want to be here. I want to pitch a tent in here. Uh, right. what? That's, That's gross. That's, you can't. He wanted to get in the last bit. That's what they say, pitch a tent. Oh. Yeah. I should put that in the dictionary. The Urban Dictionary. <laughs> By the I way, said. that racist thing, that's not you either, man. What? That's that's the Fez type stuff. You're not part of that. You're you're playing to both blacks and whites. What did I say that was uh, racist? Well, you're just bringing up the word Urban Dictionary, and here's what they say. You know what and then what this moved into the White Dictionary. Hose. Yeah, when you said hose... You're beyond that. No, the Urban Dictionary is... All right, wait a for, minute. Uh, what, what does your shirt say? I didn't even notice this. Uh, get your girl off my deck. Okay. Skate skateboarding company. All right, here's another thing. Let's go without the T-shirt. You know what I mean? Like, this is audio. We say crazy stuff. But out in the hallway, we're just... They think we're normal. You may want to wand him next time he comes into the studio. Okay. Just stick to the basics, you know? Solid colors on the t-shirts. Let yeah. your mouth do the talking. Yeah. No hoodies. It makes you look dangerous. Yeah, the hoodie thing does look dangerous. I do. Especially when you... Yeah, don't. Don't, don't, don't put it up over your eyes. Stylist. No shades when you're walking around. No long trench coats. No trench coat mafia jokes. That's like my entire Friday. Just I, I know it is. Done. All right. We got to reset that you, shit. You got a new mem mentor. Do you care about him this time? I care about this I kid. I don't want this to be a mentorship where you're not keeping an eye on the guy. I'm going to be all over this kid, like white on rice, not racist. There's brown rice, dude. Oh, shit. 